Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a fun video for me because it is all about fiber internet. We finally, finally, finally got fiber internet out to the property and I'm super excited about it. So I figured I'd take you through and show you kind of what the install looked like, what they did. Um, so when you get fiber internet out of your place, you kind of know what to expect. Um, especially in a kind of a rural setting, right? Where it may be a little bit different than something in the suburbs of the city. So that's the fiber box on the wall. But first, we're going to start at the pole. So if you recall, this was done. My fiber uh, service is provided by my power company, which is kind of nice because they have all the easements to the poles. So if you can see up in the power pole, and I don't know if you can see it, but they added another line right there, that lower line. That is the fiber. So that fiber is actually running aerial all the way down right to the road and you know to the junction box or whatever right out at the street across the road etc so that's where it comes into my place and so it comes down so the pool here right and they do it kind of cheaply right it's just it's just a uh just a uh just a outdoor rated cable you know no conduit for the most of it and then i think this is like a stiffener piece of like stiffener wire so they just run it down they give me a locator wire, which is nice, because you know, otherwise you wouldn't be able to locate this. Uh, they protect it, and then they go underground. And then they trenched, and you can kind of see where they trenched a bit. All right, but there's Smokey hanging out. Our barn cat. Yep, hi, Smoke. She needs attention, apparently. Yeah, I know, no one pays attention to you. Okay, moving on. So, they trenched all the way here, and basically stubbed up in the conduit right here, right, and go into junction box. It's just a single, um, single mode piece of fiber with a like an SC, well, SC connector on it or APC or connector like that. Just one single connector that goes into there, and then from there, they went out again bare cable. Yeah, no conduit. And they went into my junction box, you know, just like we did for the DSL, right? So I told them to do that. I had a pull string ready for them. So that pulled it into the closet. Pretty simple. So let's go inside and I'll show you how we wired it up. <clears throat> pardon the mess in the garage. Okay. And pardon the server noise. So we're now in the server closet. And that fiber came into my junction box, just like the other service. I haven't done cable management yet with it, but it comes out right here and goes into the uh, ONT um, adapter, right, media converter that uh, they prov that the um, the internet service provider they gave me. <clears throat> so what this does is it converts the fiber to Ethernet. Um, they use a different networking system called GPON. And so you have to have some level of adapter to go from that to, to Ethernet, as far as a protocol goes, is my understanding. And so I have to use their box. I did ask them, because I can get an SFP Plus fiber adapter to take this cable directly into my router and have it work. And I asked them if I could do that to eliminate this box. And they basically told me, while technically that would work, they said, if your equipment ever malfunctions or messes up you could potentially take down the whole node and the whole kind of subnet i think uh if, if, if something happened and so for that reason they didn't allow me to do that because they wanted to you know use their equipment which i totally get so that's understandable <clears throat> so we've got ethernet coming out again with my color coding i color coded white as the internet connection right so i have it going up in the back of the patch panel there and then coming on the front side here I just have it coming out here, routed down, and into the router. So right now, I technically have two ISPs. I still have the DSL. It's in the process of being canceled. So I've got them both set up. So I've got the DSL on the hard, you know, the built-in Ethernet port here. And then the fiber I've got into this SFP port, right? It's SFP Plus into a 10 gig Ethernet adapter. Um, this is running at one gig, but I figure if I'm buying a, t a 10 gig port, you know, 10 gig, if I have a 10 gig port, I'll do a 10 gig Ethernet adapter, buy it once, and then I don't ever have to buy it again. So if I ever get 
more than one gig Ethernet or more than one gig uh, internet, excuse me, then I'm good, right? I've, I've future proofed myself. So that is about it as far as how it's cabled and it, it just works. Um, one thing I did have to do to make it just work because initially it didn't just work. <clears throat> when you plug in this SFP port or SFP adapter, okay, and you cable all this up, I was able to get the ethernet link up and going, like I had layer one, but I could not get an IP address from the uh, the ISP's network. And I called their tech support and kind of verified that you know, everything's good on their end. And fiddling around, I figured out that this uh, SFP adapter and this port on the switch was set to auto-negotiate. And that didn't work. Once I manually set it to either one gig or manually set it to 10 gig, uh, everything worked. So for whatever reason, the auto negotiate feature did not work for this setup. And I don't know why, I mean, it's a ubiquity router. It's a ubiquity SFP uh, adapter. So who knows, but there's your tip. If you have issues like that, where you can't get an IP address, then uh, check, you know, check that setting, turn off auto negotiate. Uh, the way I found it was I kind of, I basically swapped ports. So I knew this worked with my um, DSL. So I just plug this, right, from the uh, fiber into the port I knew worked, and I immediately got an IP address. So that's, uh, that's a way of troubleshooting this type of thing uh, to figure out what's going on. So that's all I got for you. Um, as always, I appreciate everybody watching, and we'll see you in the next video.